you a teenager yeah. and you just think, you know what, I hate books, I can't stand them. And how can reading help your teenager to write better? So here are my top four ways on how you can get your teenager to read more books. Hi guys and welcome, this is Natalie Chum from Charm Tuition. I hope you guys are all well and you're having a fantastic day today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you'll be the first ones to know when I have my next video. So let's get down to reading and usually when I actually mention even the word books, my students just go, oh, especially when they are a reluctant reader or they don't really read very much. Usually the pattern is when they are in primary school, they are reading quite a lot. And then when they get to secondary school, it just falls to the wayside and then they don't want to read again because it is a lot of pressure in secondary school when it comes to reading and reading a lot of things in class. And so, they just end up freezing up and they just don't want to read again. But they feel like there's not enough time to explore what they really like. So I'm going to show you the four ways on how you can get your teenager to read more books. Number one, it's really important they know which genre they like. So it's really good if you match the genre of films or programs that they like to the book. So if there is a series that they love, whether it is Twilight or any of the very famous ones that are on Netflix that is appropriate for your teenager. If they have a book version, get the book for them because it's always, always good if they read something that they already enjoy and so it's not a big shock to the system. And then if they want to explore that same genre or that same author too, it's all about just getting them to read and getting them to be able to be interested. Now, reading for leisure is not a prison sentence. <laughs> Please don't force, parents, do not force your teenager to read because it's not a prison sentence. You're gonna be teaching them the wrong habits because you're teaching them, oh, you have to do this and that's it. Even if it is for leisure, it doesn't matter, you have to do it. And then it ends up becoming a chore. We don't want the reading for leisure to become a chore because they're already reading books in class that they don't like. Number two, read consistently. Now consistently is like you're reading daily, weekly, you're picking a time, especially during the summer holidays, if they are not really prone to reading, don't force them to read every single day. That's not necessary. You can just get them to read maybe, start off with once a week, start off with twice a week, three times a week, whichever pattern they want to read, getting them to read. And then what you would do, you would have it as, okay, they can read about 15 minutes a day. So usually on average, a teenager should read at least an hour a week. An hour a week is really, really, really manageable. It's only about, I would say 15 minutes a day. You do the math, but, but it's not that hard. So when you look at it like that, start off with the minimum and the main thing is consistency. Consistency will build up healthy habits and then they will do it without you needing to prompt them. Number three, you set the example. You set the tone and you set the example of them reading. You can't say to them, you need to read, you need to read and you don't read yourself. You know, even if you're reading a newspaper, just read something. If you're not really, as a parent, you're not really a reader, that's totally fine. You don't need to get a Jane Eyre book. You can just read something that is really, really small. You can just read it, just to read a newspaper. Um, stay away from the tabloids. So, but if you could, you know, get The Guardian, for example, and read that, that would be really good practice. So they can look at you and be like, okay, you know, my parents reading, so I'm going to read as well. And they do say... Just having, scientifically, having a bookcase filled with books will encourage your child to read more than not having a bookcase with books. So if you have a bookcase, make sure there's books on it and make sure you're reading as well. And number four, start with audio books first. Now, your teenager might be really reluctant to the point, look, I am not reading a book at all. So if there is a particular audio book 
that you can explore. You've matched a genre with what they particularly like. Get them to listen to the audio first and then cheekily get the book so they can follow it with the audio and you can slowly introduce physical books to them eventually. But Audible is great. It's $7.99 a month and you get free credits per month and you can pick books that they would enjoy. And thank you guys. And if you have any more tips regarding with how your teenager could read more or as a parent, how you could read more, just leave it in the comment section below and like, comment and subscribe to this channel guys if you are interested in the group classes the registration is now closed just send me a message and i do have one-to-one -one group sessions available throughout the summer holidays thank you guys and remember reach your full potential confidence take care and i'll see you in my next video bye